I'm just a guy who loves Disney and has way too much time on his hands. If anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. I'm here to rate, review, and describe all of your favorite things from the magical world of Disney. I'm File91E and welcome to my Disney News and Reviews. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's Disney News and Reviews. I'm File91E and a pretty cool week for me this week guys. We're getting to the end of September. Last uh, show of September then we get into Retro October. It'll be very fun. I hope uh, I like talking about old rides and I hope you guys like learning about them and I like discussing them too. So if you have any questions or comments, always feel free to post in the comments section below. That's it's always good and fun for me. Uh, the Where in the Land from last week was the entrance to Disneyland. I was it was our first day or first day at full day at Disneyland Park and uh, we were there. We saw the opening and it was great. That's the uh, the Donald. Uh, you know a Halloween thing they really got everything ready for Halloween and uh, you know it's all Halloweenified now in the Disney park so it's very fun uh, one thing I do want to mention is that my buddy Corn Shack everybody knows I think on here Corn Shack I always talk you know I've, I've, I've talked about him before uh, he, his channel is Corn Shack Gaming here on YouTube just show you know search and check it out and subscribe he's a really good uh, uh, you know guy and he um, he plays all you know he's really good with video games older video games so uh, but you know uh, the main uh, the, <laughs> the main reason why I, I'm mentioning it to, you know just to give him a plug which he so rightfully deserves um, but he's kind of upgrading his channel he's in the process of really upgrading his channel and uh, he's going to be doing the, uh, the uh, this corn shack tour which is actually uh, in Virginia um, if you live in Virginia and you like video games and you want to meet Corn Shack, you actually can. They, uh, he's going to be going to certain um, local um, video games uh, stores and gaming stores, and uh, he'll be doing like a meet and greet and a, uh, a demo and some, you know, like you know, uh, like uh, like lessons, I guess you could say. Not le lessons is it, 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 you know is a bad word. Seminars, you know, you know that sort of thing. Uh, and uh, you know he's going to be doing that. Uh, at a couple places in October and maybe even more uh, afterwards. So if you're interested in that, you know, check him out. Uh, it's Corn Shack Gaming. You know, that's his channel. He also has a you know a bunch of other channels. But if you go over there, you'll be able to you know see them all. Uh, he's he, he's doing a lot of newer stuff, you know, or a lot of um you know, new things like uh, you know reviews and you know opening blind bags and stuff like that. We have there our thing that we do with uh, Wrestle Theme reviews. I actually want to go film that tomorrow. Uh, so I, I just want to give him, you know, he, he's, he's in the process of really, uh, you know, upgrading his channel and, uh, you know, I, I just wanted to kind of give him, uh, you know, a little bit of a shout out. So, uh, you know, my buddy Corncheck, not, you know, not that he needs it, his, you know, my channel is way smaller compared to his, but, um, you know, we, you know, we, we've been good friends on, uh, you know, you know, for a long time and, um, I just want to give him a shout out. So Corncheck, I love you, buddy. I'll see you uh, tomorrow, actually. Yeah. Or today, depending on when you guys are watching it. Um, uh, but there's some big news actually f with my channel. Um, in a couple weeks after, well, in, in, I think it's November 15th, so it's a little bit more than a couple weeks, but November 15th is actually gonna be my 300th episode of this. Uh, if I found on Denise Disney News and Reviews. Um, I, do, I do believe, you know, I think I, I counted correctly. If not, well, everything's off. But whatever, we're going to say that it's my 300th episode according to my count right now. And uh, that's pretty amazing. Um, I plan on doing a live show that weekend. And uh, it'll be followed by a Q&A slash hangout thing. Uh, but I'm also going to be doing a giveaway. That's my next giveaway is my 300th show giveaway. I'm not going to do a, a Halloween giveaway. I'll do my 300th show giveaway. And uh, some other big news is that since a lot of you guys, since the last time we did the Hangout, you guys kind of, or some of you, were talking about a t-shirt. Um, now, I'm not a, uh, you know, a, a fan of making money off of this channel, but I did find a place where I could design a t-shirt and just, you know, um, you know, they make it and they send it to you. Uh, I, I, I don't get any money, but, you know, aside from, you know, your support in wearing the t-shirt, which is great. Um, so, you know, I'll say, you know, I'll probably do a video about that later. I just kind of designed it. I need to order one to see if I like it. And if I, and if I like it, then uh, you'll be able to get it just, uh, you know, uh, you know, a standard t-shirt, but I'll, I'll talk to you more about it, you know, 
when I finally get it finalized. Yeah, so that's a lot of uh, final there. But, um, uh, you know, so I'm thinking of, you know, doing a giveaway with, uh, you know, with that and then a copy of uh, the Aladdin Diamond Edition, which is coming out soon. And uh, so uh, I, I'll be doing a giveaway with that. So hold off on buying the Aladdin unless you don't plan on entering the giveaway, in which case go buy Aladdin the time it comes out. So that should be fun. A live show, Q&A, and a giveaway all in the same one for my big 300th episode. I don't know what I'm going to review. Maybe some of my favorite rides or talk about some of my favorite shows, episodes, past episodes. What would you like me to do for my 300th episode? Post in the comments section below. I have no idea, but tell me what you would like to hear from me uh, as far as uh, my 300th episode. That's, uh, yeah, it should be fun. Uh, now, uh, also, um, at the end of this episode here, I want to be, I have a new uh, video ending for all of my videos. It's, I call it a tailor, not a trailer, but a tailor. Uh, you know, it, it's at the tail end of all of my videos. It's basically just my new logo, um, you know, so you can see that it's an official Final 9 to Winnie video. Um, I don't know, I'm just trying to you know, spruce up the channel a little bit, you know, knock some of the dust off and maybe do some new things. Uh, so we'll see. I have an idea for doing some maybe video game related stuff. Um, I'll try to keep it as much Disney, you know, you know, in the Disney world as, as much as possible because I have a couple Star Wars things that I might want to do for the, the Nintendo 64 and stuff like that. So uh, if you guys like old gaming, which I love, you might like that too. So we'll see if you guys are interested in that. But yeah, so that's what's been going on with me this week. So uh, again, be looking out for the new logo pretty much everywhere. That's also going to be on the t-shirt. And um, thanks to my friend Bob. Again, I, I keep forgetting that. Uh, and I, I, don't, I, I, don't, I don't like to because it always bugs me that I can't put it in right after. But thank you so much, Bob, for do, you know, drawing that um, and just helping me with everything. You know, my friend Bob, he, uh, he's a big help with everything that I do with this channel. Whenever I say, hey, I need to film this or, hey, we need to do this. Hey, do you want to go to Disney with me and help, you know, record everything? Uh, he's the man. And, uh, you know, I really uh, am so thankful that he is uh, a good friend of mine. So thanks so much, Bob. Thank you so much. Um, but yeah, so cool. That's what's been going on with me this week. Let's get right to the news. Disney is about to begin a major new national marketing campaign for both Walt Disney World and Disneyland Resort. Unforgettable happens here is the main message and will make extensive use of social media highlighting moments that families and friends all share together in the parks. Uh, the new campaign will replace the Disney side message from the past few years. The Disney side stuff is actually pretty cool. There's a cool app called Disney side. Not sure if you can still get it, but uh, very, you know, cool stuff. Um, so with this new thing, there's going to be all new uh, kind of a, a merchandise and stuff and new ads. So keep an eye out for that. So it should be really cool. It looks as though the rebranding of Downtown Disney to Disney Springs will become official later this month. Uh, Disney has organized a press event on September 29th, which will include a name change moment. Cool. Uh, it, it isn't clear yet as to how extensive the name change will be by that point, but it certainly seems uh, that with the near completion of the landing, Disney has enough of a new product to announce the name change to the press. Like, we already don't know that it's called Disney Springs, but uh, it's cool that they're doing that. Really awesome stuff. Also in Disney Springs news, uh, Jock Lindsay's Hangar Bar has officially opened. Excellent. The Indiana Jones theme restaurant uh, and bar. I really can't wait when I go back down to hit that immediately. Uh, all of the Disney sites have covered the opening, so there are plenty of photos and videos to see. So check them out inside the magic, www.magic.com, all that stuff. Uh, you know, you can check out videos here on YouTube. Uh, every, all, all of them checked out. All of them, uh, you know, were there. So this is really cool. Excellent stuff. The technical problems affecting Summit Plummet and Slush Gusher at Disney's uh, Blizzard Beach appear to be more complex than originally thought. After a series of closures, both Summit Plummet and Slush Gusher are now to remain closed through to the end of the season on October 3rd. The park closes for its annual refurbishment on October 4th and will continue to operate as normal until then. Uh, so yeah, they they're they're shutting those two things down. They're going to really fix them up for you, uh, you know, because they need some extra time. So. I have no idea what's we you know what happened or why you know all this is breaking, but who knows? They're two of the biggest things there, and with all the use that they get, I'm sure they need a good little sprucing up. So it's you know good on Disney for making everything safe. The hugely popular Jedi Trading Academy at Disney's Hollywood Studios will have its final shows on on uh, October 4th. 
October 4th, sorry. Um, the attraction will reopen later this year as the Jedi Training Trials of the Temple uh, and will feature an all new set and new characters. It is expected that the show will continue to be on the stage next to Star Tours. Uh, a new villain uh, from the Disney XD series uh, Star Wars Rebels will be a part of the show. And uh, like the current Jedi Training Academy, uh, children will continue to be able to participate in the show with lightsaber training. So uh, who knows, maybe they're going to add some new stuff from Rebels and the new movie in there uh, to try to keep in, in, in line with everything. It should be really interesting because a new movie does, you know, have Luke Skywalker who is a Jedi Master. Maybe he's going to rebuild the temple. I don't know. It's just fun. Fun ideas to speculate. I love it. Uh, the Kali River Rapids at Disney's Animal Kingdom will be testing a lockers-only policy for personal possessions later this week. From September 27th through to October 3rd, uh, riders at the Kali Rapids will not be able to take personal possessions on board the rafts. Complimentary lockers will be available for use. This policy is standard at Universal Orlando for many of their attractions, but ha ha has not been used at uh, Walt Disney World yet. It, it isn't clear if this test is just for its potential use at the Kali Rapids, or if it will extend to other attractions should it be successful. So who knows what's going to happen with that, um, but interesting, interesting stuff. So you don't get your stuff wet. That's pretty cool. And finally, some rehab and refurbishment news for the uh, for Disney World. I have some Disneyland news. Splash Mountain's annual refurbishment is much shorter uh, in uh, or than usual in 2016, with just four days of downtime in the new year. The refurbishment begins on January 10th through to January 14th, reopening to guests on January 15th. Now that could change, uh, but I'm not really expe you know, expecting it to. So, yeah. And also, Peter Pan's Flight of the Magic Kingdom will be closing for a short refurbishment in early November. Uh, the closure begins on November 2nd and runs through to November 7th, reopening to guests on November 8th. So uh, just keep that in mind as we go down. Now, there are some, there's some pretty big Disneyland news uh, that you guys might want to pay attention to. Uh, oh, good Lord. No, it finally died. The light over here finally died. So now you're going to have to deal with this. That's unfortunate. Sorry about that. Uh, on November 16th, the Star Wars Hangar Bay is set to open in the space that was formerly Interventions. Also, Hyperspace Mountain is, special, is rumored to open on November 14th, just in time for the build of the new Star Wars film. That is a rumor. Hasn't been official yet. So, uh, unless somebody else knows something that I don't, just, you know, you know believe that to be a rumor. Uh, and a preview for the new Star, uh, Star Wars film should be appearing in the Tomorrowland Theater as well. That's also a rumor, but, I mean, that, it's more likely so. So a lot of Star Wars stuff is being introduced to Tomorrowland, so that's pretty neat. Uh, awesome stuff there. Now, this is the big news. To make room for construction of the 14-acre Star Wars-themed land, Disneyland Resort officials announced that several popular attractions will close for an entire year. On the same day, all four train stations along the Disneyland Railroad, the nightly Phantasmic Show, the Mark Twain Riverboat, the Sailing Ship Columbia, the Davy Crockett Explorer Canoes, and the Pirate's Lair on Tom Sawyer Island will all close temporarily. Big Thunder Ranch, which houses a barbecue restaurant, petting zoo, and the Jamboree stage will also close permanently on January 10th. So yes, the, the, anything around the Rivers of America is going to close for about a year. Uh, I guess they have to in order to make the big, you know, layout changes because uh, it's they're adding. This is the biggest thing that they've been uh, that they that they've added to um, Disneyland in quite some time. So. I guess they have to, you know, be safe and you know keep cautious and everything. Uh, but that's a. I'm, I'm glad I went to Disneyland when I did. Glad I went to Disneyland when I did because uh, it would have been a bummer to have all, you know, to to have missed all that. But yeah, sorry guys, sorry Disneyland people, you're going to be down a couple of the, a couple of attractions for an entire year. Yeah. So yeah, that's the news for this week. Let's get right to the reviews. All right, everybody, this has been, it's been a while since I've done a top 10. So uh, it's the end of the month, and I figured uh, this would be a good time to do a top 10, since it's Preptember, a top 10, my, or my top 10, Disney planning resources. Uh, these are pretty much all the places that I go when planning for a Disney trip. Um, I'm actually in the process of planning for a Disney trip right now. Uh, we're going next, August, or, or next October 3rd first through October 8th to Walt Disney World. We're staying for a week. Um, again, this is about 98% certain. So, uh, I, I, you know, I've, I've begun my planning and I've gone, 
begun, you know, looking at things and, and stuff. I know now the true planning really doesn't begin until, you know, next year when, uh, you know, we still, you know, have to crunch down and stuff, uh, time crunches and things like that. But, um, I'm still in the process of getting in my, into my Disney mojo and, uh, you know, making sure that I can plan a good trip for my family. So, uh, cause it's 11 of us going, it's the big family reunion sort of trip. So here are my top Disney planning resources, either all the places that I go, uh, you know, when I'm when planning for things aside from, cause I, I can't go to myself. I can't go to file 920 and say, Hey, what should I do? Well, I can, but that's just me thinking. Does that make sense? No, it kind of, kind of weirded me out too. Yeah. All right, let's go. Here are the, uh, or here's one, um, uh, you know, honorable mention and that are the or that is the Disney music apps now you might think that Disney music apps like subsonic radio or sorcerer radio.com or sorcerer radio for the you know for the app for your phone um, is that really Disney planning well it gets you in the mood and for me nothing gets me in the mood more than listening to Disney Park audio and the music from Disney parks I can visualize myself in the parks and whatnot uh, so yes, it is a big planning resource for me because it gets me excited and that is the main thing about going and planning for your Disney trip is to be excited because you're going to Disney World. It's cool. There's so many things to do. So many things to see in Disney World that you're like, oh my God, I'm going to Disney World. I want to have a great time. And it really shouldn't be that stressful, you know, with uh, planning and everything. And hopefully some of the uh, resources that I give you here or places to go and read or things to read and all that stuff uh, should help. Number 10. Now you might think this is kind of a obvious one. It's the weather.com. Uh, you know, I know that's kind of stretching it for a resource, but I really don't have that many resources that I use. I don't have 10 usual resources, but when planning for Disney World, it's always good to know the weather at Disney World when you're going down. Now, uh, don't start looking for weather updates like, you know, weeks in advance because the weather changes so much down there. It's unreal. It's a very humid climate, uh, you know, uh, very hot and humid, uh, especially during the summer and uh, you know, springtime. Um, even during the winter, it's not that cold. I mean, people down there think it's cold but you know I live kind of up north so it's not that bad uh, you know you might want to bring a jacket during, you know, during the winter but I'm going in the fall and I usually don't ever have to bring a uh, any anything more than like a like a hoodie you know if, if it ever gets cold but it usually doesn't um, especially October 1st or the 8th I'm usually pretty good it's still a little hot down there like high in the 80s and stuff like that but Knowing the weather when you go down helps you pack, and uh, that's a big thing. So don't start looking out until about 10 days in, and even then the weather can change. Um, so if you see a, a, a rainstorm falling on the on, you know in the week that you that you went, and you're on weather.com, you know like a week and a half in you know in, in advance, that will shift around. So you might not you know it might not hit you. So who knows? I uh, really don't start taking things for gospel until about a weekend which uh you know I, I can then say hey yes it's going to be raining out because uh but then again things change you know it's florida things change when we went down in 2011 it was supposed to rain the entire week it rained one and a half days and then it was sunny out the rest of the time so i don't know i don't know number nine WaltDisneyWorld.com and disneyland.com whichever where you know you know whichever one you're going to the official disney park sites are is, is easily one of the best places to uh, you know to plan and, and, and get all your things um, why is it not up in my top five well because I don't go to them very much aside to get uh, numbers and prices and things like that they have a great you know like little thing where you can punch how many guests are going where you want to stay and all that stuff uh, I mainly you know like to go for that but it also has great pictures and stuff and you know like that their reviews aren't as in-depth as some of the other websites that I want to mention but um, you know it's a great place to go and I always mention at the end of every one of my videos that going there does um, you know, is you know, it is a good thing. There's always people out there to help you. Uh, there, you know, there's usually a pop-up that says, "Hey, are you planning Disney? Need some help? Click here, and you can talk to the people online, uh, and they're more than helpful as well." Because I went through Disney the last time I went to Disneyland, and uh, they were great. I mentioned that in my last show. So yeah, two really cool, um, you know, websites, and uh, you know, you should check them out. Number eight. 
the Disney Vacation Account. Now, what is Disney Vacation Account? I hadn't heard of it until about last year. And, uh, well, say you're going, you, you know, you want to go to Disney, but you're really not good at, play, at uh, saving money. Well, this helps with that because uh, it's a way to help save money using Disney to help you. Uh, you know, say here's what you want to do, here's how much you want to save, you know, however much money you planned your Disney trip, you know you need to save five grand or whatever it is, two grand, whatever. Uh, Disney has this thing, the Disney Vacation uh, um, uh, account, where you make this account and you put money into this. You know, it tells you how much you need to put, you know, per week, depending on how soon you want to go. Like, say you're planning a year or two in advance, uh, you can, you know, put money away each week or, you know, you know, every two weeks, every month or whatever it is. Uh, and Disney will tell you how much you need to put in in order to accomplish, you know, your, you know, that goal. So that's really cool. Check it out, you know, especially if you're, you know, not too good with money and you just need some place to... Just take the money and here and put this away so that we don't, you know, we can go to Disney in a couple years. Uh, it's really cool that Disney has that and, um, you know, it's very, very nifty, especially if you're, you know, horrible with money like I am. I haven't used the account. I never really had to, but it's good to know that if it's there or, they, or that it's there, you know, if I need it. And, uh, you know, who knows, maybe I'll, I'll start right now and just start putting money away and, uh, you know, for, you know, for the future. I don't know. So uh, that should be fun, you know, and, and I can always say in three years I'm putting money away to go to Disney, you know, that's pretty neat. So uh, check that out, the Disney Vacation account. Number seven, also with money, this is a mousesavers.com, one of the better websites uh, for finding Disney deals, um, you know, on your own. You know, so basically uh, say you're planning all, you know, this on your own and you are looking for the latest and greatest Disney deals out there. Uh, you know, the hidden um, passcodes and things like that that you can say that are emailed to people that people, you know, shared with the site and they are now sharing with you. Uh, you know, I always check that. That's how I got my free meal uh, plan back uh, when I went in 2011 with my friend Bob and my brother and all that. Uh, that's how we got our free meal because I, I was I was looking for you know what deals were happening in the fall. Usually deals happen in the spring and fall because that's the lower times and they want people to come to the parks then obviously. And uh, you know we got a a free dining plan with our uh, stay and that was excellent. So that saved us a bunch of money and uh, it was just awesome. And uh, I wouldn't have known it without uh, mousesavers.com. So check that website out. It's a little bit hard to navigate. It can be, uh, but read. And uh, reading is your is your biggest thing uh, when it comes to saving money at Disney because uh, you know it helps. It just helps. So uh, awesome, mousesavers.com. Number six, Disney's My Disney Experience app. Uh, this is something you're going to want to download. If you know that you're going to Disney World, you're going to want to download this and get very familiar with it. This app is great. It tells you all the wait times. This is what you use the app for. I actually have it here. You use this app to pretty much um, do everything, make the reservations you, 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 know, you do from, you know, from this app. If you want to change your FastPass reservations on the fly, you do from the app. Um, Disney, where is there? It is Disney. My there it is Disney World, my Disney experience. So uh, you can do a lot, a ton of things here. You got to log in, and uh, you know you put you punch in your account, and this is kind of like your headquarters because everything in Disney now is kind of Wi-Fi, you know, related that sort of thing. And uh, you know, so that's really cool. You have your account. It shows you the attractions, the attraction wait times, where they are. There's maps. You can show where all the characters are, dining, restrooms, all everything that you need for you know. Even you can even look at a pass account to here. So everything you need uh, for your trip to Disney World, because Disneyland doesn't have that yet, the Wi-Fi stuff yet. But everything you need for your trip to Disney World is through that app. And um, it's just really cool. I hear, but I, although I do hear Disneyland is getting the, its its own app and stuff like that, it's completely separate from that. But the My Disney Experience stuff, if you're going to Disney World, download it, uh, get familiar with it, especially after you book it and you have your Disney account and everything. Sign in, get it all set up because that's where you're going to be making your you know reservations and stuff, and you or at least you'll be able to see your reservations. So, uh, very important thing to have. And I I, I got it as soon as it uh, as soon as it came out. 
and all and I'll also always keep it updated always keep it updated now here we are top five top five number five the message boards the Disney message boards not necessarily the official Disney message boards but I'm talking about you can go to disboards.com the more the, the message boards for uh, for www.magic.com or allyears.net their message boards whatever as long as because knowledge is everything when it comes to you know planning for Disney knowing uh, you know what people liked what people didn't like people giving you tips and tricks all that sort of thing you can find in these message boards because these are real people who really love Disney and want to go and help usually Disney fans are pretty cool and pretty even I've, I've yet to meet a really obnoxious Disney fan although they are out there I'm sure um, but usually everybody's trying to help each other out and uh, you can get some good advice maybe some good tips and maybe even some discounts uh, that you wouldn't find anywhere else on these message boards so check them out uh, there's, ton there's tons of Disney uh, you know message boards you can go to micechat.com they have message boards touringplans.com has message boards every place has message boards uh, and you can even try reddit reddit also is a good place to go uh, when it comes to that sort of thing that's kind of like a big online message board uh, you could just type in waltdisneyworld.com and there's a, a, a there's an official reddit for that you can uh, you know maybe get some tips there if you're lucky but that's where you kind of could meet the obnoxious people but who knows number four this is one of my favorite websites that i i mention every week and that's www.magic.com um Allers.com is great. I used to use that a lot for my uh, updated Disney news. They have great Disney news that are updated every week. WDWMagic.com pretty much updates it as it happens. So if something happens that day, usually WDWMagic.com is WDWMagic.com is uh, uh, you know updated right then. So say if Splash Mountain is broken down. Um, for a while or breaks down or whatever, they will tell you. Uh, like I'll, 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 a lot of times with um, the uh, the water parks, they'll close because of rain or something like that. They'll mention it. Um, it's always updated, pretty much day to day, and um, you know it's really cool, you know, to see and it gets you psyched because you get to know what rides are down and what you know, you know, and what's up. Uh, Allyears.net is better with the refurbishment updates, uh, so you can check that out. But WW Magic uh, has pictures, videos, just it's really great and um you know i i check it all the time they do have an app it's not the most updated thing in the world but uh, uh their website is fantastic and uh, i really enjoyed that stuff so uh, check out wdwmagic.com it's very hard to say for me for whatever reason uh yeah number uh three here we go number three independent disney travel agents now uh, you can use AAA or you can use disney.com that's you know that sort of thing um, I like to, you know, I'm currently using right now Storybook Destinations. Uh, I hear they're really good, and uh, they, they've recently gotten back to me about all of that. And uh, you know, we're, we're we're conversing and stuff. It's still really early in the planning process, and you know, I'm just, uh, I, for a trip of this magnitude, I want to have another person kind of responsible for all 11 people. Uh, it, you know, because I know what's going on, I know what's happening, but uh, it's good to have a, a you know an actual professional kind of handle this. And uh, usually they're you know you, you know they're free and they don't really uh, you know expect much, but they're really good, especially the independent ones because they're huge Disney fans and they want to get you the best deal. Uh, and uh, you know, really good uh, uh, Disney travel agents will uh, be there to. Um, They'll always keep an ear out for the savings, and they'll tell you. They'll let you know, hey, uh, there's a savings deal going on while you're down there, so I got you this too. That sort of thing. So uh, you want a, a good travel agent. If you're going to use a travel agent, use a good independent Disney travel agent or travel agency. I'm using Storybook Destinations. There's a ton of them out there, um, but uh, I really like them uh, so far, and they've done a really good job. Uh, but you can there's there's tons more that you can uh, you know see and whatnot. I'm sure if uh, any of you have actually used independent Disney travel agents and can name some really good ones, post them in the comment section below. Not to say Disney's bad or anything, but Disney is out to make money and they're not as, uh, you know, inclined to want to, uh, g you know, give you as, mu as many deals. They're not going to tell you about the deals. You'd rather have to mention it to them and, they'll, and then they'll be happy to give you the deal. But Disney, you know, is trying to make money and that's just what it, you know, the way it is. So, um... Independent Disney Travel Agents, one of the best uh, planning resources ever. So check that out. And, you know, you know, check them out. They are out there. 
Number two, these books here, the unofficial guidebooks. Now there are tons and tons of Disney guides out there, but these two, these, or, or at least this brand, I think is the best out there uh, because of all the information that they have in a nice, neat, uh, you know, thing. The reviews are honest. Um, I just like it. Uh, yes, there are a ton of you know, there are a ton of books out there. Um, there's the Passporter Guide, which is really good. Uh, you know, the Birnbaum's guides are good too, photos and whatnot. Uh, but if you have to choose, I would try. I would choose either the Passporter Guide or the uh, the uh, you know the unofficial guides. Uh, the unofficial guides is totally my favorite. Um, you know, not to say the other ones are bad, but this one is a Fallen Under When He Approved sort of thing. I love their touring plans. Uh, this is sponsored by touringplans.com and uh, or made by touringplans.com and you can plan all your trips the touring plans for here or you know or you know for the magic kingdom and all that stuff and they even do universal uh, are just are the touring plans are, are fantastic uh, if you follow them to the t i guarantee you will see everything there is to see in disney world or uh, or at least what they you know allow you to see because they say two days for magic kingdom two days for epcot that sort of stuff because epcot you know Walt Disney world's getting huge but um those books are fantastic, and I can't stress them enough. If you're going to Disney World, go pop into whatever, get it off of Amazon, and you know read that book, and you will become just as knowledgeable about Walt Disney World as I am. So, um, you know, check that out. Awesome stuff. The unofficial guide to Walt Disney World. Excellent. And finally, the number one resource for, or, or the number one planning resource, YouTube. This this place. Ever since I started here on YouTube, there are hundreds of people out here that give their opinions on Disney rides. They take, you know, they take so many videos on, you know, the Disney attractions, where they stayed, how they stayed, and you can get a huge idea of where everything is and what everything is and uh you know, Inside the Magic uh, has a you know a great channel where they go really inside the magic. They're always there. They're like the number one press thing. Allers.net has one. Um, you know, there's independent. You know, you know, you know uh, uh, Disney people like me um, that do have a lot. You know, m you know much bigger channels, and uh, they do a lot more. They go to Disney a lot more. I know a lot of you out there. Uh, you know, have t talked to me about them. Uh, you know, they showed me, uh, you know, you know, different videos and whatnot. Um, my favorite thing about YouTube is just the sheer number and sheer volume amount of uh, videos that you can find. You type in anything here on YouTube that you uh, want to know. What's the old Key West resort look like? Oh, there it is. There's walkthroughs of rooms and every other thing. Uh, you know, I you know. Uh, let's. Uh, I want to see reviews on Disney rides, and you'll find some other guys and stuff like that. I'm on there, uh, so. I'm not trying to show you know my channel or show YouTube, but I, I, I whenever I have a, a a question or a a curiosity about where I'm staying, you know what I could get myself into. Uh, oh wow! So I go on www.magic.com. I saw that Jock Lindsay's hangar bar opened. Well, you know what's that all? You know, like I go to YouTube, Jock Lindsay's hangar bar. Jock, Jock Lindsay's hangar bar tour. Oh, cool. You go through the tour. Oh, that's some place I want to. I, I, you know, I want to stay. So I mark it on my little calendar, and uh, you know, as a thing that I want to do. So it's, it's great because there's so much information here on YouTube. It's unreal. YouTube has grown so much since I started here uh, about eight years ago, and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool, you know, to see, you know, what's happened and how it's grown, and uh, it's great to see the Disney, you know, world presence here on YouTube be. Uh, you know expanding and um, it's just really neat so uh, YouTube is definitely my number one uh, top Disney planning resource because you can find anything and anybody with an opinion here and uh, it, the community is great because everybody's trying to help you and usually all the Disney people especially the independent Disney people like us are willing to you know talk to you guys and uh, you know give us you know your opinion so if you shoot us a comment or whatever we'll try to help you to uh, you know the, the best of our um, the best of our, uh, you know, ability and, uh, or at least put you in the right direction. So awesome stuff. 
So yeah, those are my uh, top 10 Disney planning resources with YouTube being number one, not because I'm biased or anything, just because I think it's one of the best. And also uh, this book right here, this is uh, one of the biggest things that you could possibly be getting if you're going to uh, Walt Disney World. So make sure you get the updated one for that year and um, you'll, you'll know what to do. You'll know what to do when, when going to Disney World. So awesome stuff. Top 10 uh, Disney planning resources. Leave your top 10 Disney planning resources in the comment section below uh, if they differ from mine. Even if they don't differ from mine, I want to hear from you. You know, maybe I missed something. Tell me, let me know, and uh, you know, we'll get into that dialogue later. So, excellent stuff. And now, a random Disney fact with File 91E. At 5.7 million gallons, Epcot's Aquarium of the Seas is the second largest aquarium in the United States. The aquarium in Atlanta beats Epcot's by 600,000 gallons. And that was a random Disney fact with File 91E. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's Disney news and reviews. Again, check out my friend Corn, uh, Corn Shack's channel. He's doing some pretty cool things. And also, I want to be doing my 300th live show or whatever it is. Not, not my, my, for my 300th show, I'll do a live show Q&A and a giveaway. But I'll give you more uh, stuff with that. And be sure to notice the logo here at the end. Uh, I, you know, I work pretty hard on that. That's pretty fun. So, yeah, if anybody from Disney is watching, please don't sue me. As you can tell by this planning uh, a video I did, I want people to go to Disney World and have a great time because there's so many things that you can do in Disney World. It's not just for kids. And, you know, yes, you can stay in Disney World and then go to Orlando as well. That's all in good fun, too. I would recommend always, I always recommend staying on Disney property because the Disney property hotels are a lot better and you can always shuttle to and from uh, Universal using like an Uber or a taxi or whatever. Um, I just think it's great that way. Uh, but yeah, so I'm just trying to get people to go to Disney World and have a great time. And if uh, I can make their planning that any easier with this video, hopefully I did, um, that will you know be great. Excellent. If you are going to Disney World or Disneyland, be sure to go to allers.net, touringplans.com, www.magic.com for our latest and greatest Disney news. WaltDisneyWorld.com is good too, along with Disneyland.com. See, I'm, I told you, I mentioned at the end of every video. Uh, also, MiceChat.com is great. That's where I get my Disneyland news. So, MiceChat.com, very good stuff there. That's a new one. Um, but yeah, so you got last week's more in the land pretty good. I'll try to stump you this week, but I know you guys are too good for me. So I'll try to stump you this week. So guys, I'll see you next week for another Disney News and Reviews. And where in the land am I this week? Bye, guys. Just step, just